This episode of Vent is brought to you by ThoseShirts.com. Right shirts done right. Hey, welcome to Vent with Michelle Malkin. On the front burner today, Reconquista 101. Many observers have pointed out the role of the Stalinist anti-military group ANSWER in organizing Monday's illegal alien strike. But ANSWER is the tail of the open borders dog. Across the country, we witnessed hardcore believers in the idea of Reconquista leading the way. This is the Mexican movement to erase America's borders completely on the way to carving out the American Southwest into its own nation. The Reconquistadors aren't hiding. In fact, they're all over the airwaves. Just an incredible sight here in Phoenix, Lou. I, I can't say I've really seen anything like it. Back Dan, to you. I, I think a lot of people have not uh, seen anything like what is uh, being revealed behind you which are slogans that say, we were here first. Toraldo, from your vantage point, what's the headline today? Well, Bill, from my vantage point, it's a, a huge turnout. It's overwhelmingly peaceful. The American flags far outnumber the Mexican flags. Look at your own history, 1846, and see how the United States of America invaded the country of Mexico. Aslan is California. Aslan is this country. This country was ours. Like we say, the borders didn't cross us. We didn't cross the borders. The borders crossed us. This country is based on racism. This country is based on exploitation. And we are continuing to exploit. Ma'am, ma'am, if that's the case, why would you, why would you want to be here? Student chapters of Mecha have spent the past five decades building a base for Latino revolution on college campuses. They have websites like this one advocating genocide against non-Latinos living in the American Southwest. They make and carry protest signs like this one in Denver or this one in Albuquerque. They're hardly living in anyone's definition of the shadows. Reconquistadors influence supposedly moderate groups like the League of United Latin American Citizens. In the Immigration and Nationality Act, that is law in this country, Alien is a legal term. It's used as a legal term. Were you aware of that? Yes, I was. Okay. It was passed in 1929. Right, and it's defined in Section 1101 of the INN Act. Um, so, therefore, I, I'm real guilty of this, use the term illegal aliens based upon this law. And you're telling me I'm making a racial slur? Uh, whenever you try to dehumanize a group of people by, you know, calling them slaves or they're black or chattel if they're women, it's a way to try to treat them as second-class citizens under the law. Historically, this is what this country has done when they seek to exclude people, whether it was women or blacks or whatever other group, uh, and therefore you dehumanize them, and that's what's happening now with primarily Latino immigrants who are being called illegal aliens. Mr. Garcia was once mayor pro tem of Dallas, and he's a former member of the Texas House of Representatives still think Reconquista thinking is on the fringe? The Reconquistadors continue to pervert history. They claim that the United States stole Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California from Mexico in war, failing to note that Mexico started the war by attacking American troops in Texas. And they failed to note that Texas was only part of Mexico for about 10 years, and that the revolution that gave us the heroes of the Alamo and San Jacinto only started once Mexico fell into dictatorship under Santa Ana. And they failed to note that even after it won the war with Mexico, the United States bought the Southwest and returned the rest of Mexico to Mexican rule. All of this should be history anyway, since the Mexican-American War ended 160 years ago and was settled by a treaty, plus millions in settlement money ratified by both countries. Mexico gave up its claim to the American Southwest for all time. Now our borders are civs. We're at war with Islamofascism, and these seething demonstrators and reconquistadors are still griping about stolen land, while our government gets set to grant amnesty to millions of illegals to appease Vicente Fox. Hello, whose country is this anyway? Till next vent, I'm Michelle Malkin for Hot Air. Pare amnestia ahora.